Good day guys, this is just a quick video illustrating the uh, WinSpeed Logger software. So, which is which is typically used on, you know, with our units, with our wireless anemometers or wireless wind speed meters. And these are installed to, you know, any type of crane. So it could be tower crane, mobile cranes, uh, lattice, lattice cranes, even structures and buildings. So, um, very, very typical report, a couple of days here. So you've got the 1st of September to the 3rd of September. And then this is obviously a wind speed logger. You've got the, the uh, displays uh, uh, serial number here. And then you've got date time uh, starting the 2nd. And then you've you've obviously got uh, your time the times there. And then it just gives limit data, error uh, or description of the, the log or the event. And then you've got a peak speed on this side. So I'll explain that just now. So moving down here. So I've set the limits on this particular wind speed meter to um, 8 meters a second. That's your intermediate limit. And that's the, that limit is used for, you know, uh, warning the operator that he is approaching obviously the upper limit and the upper limit is set to 10 meters a second in this case so um, you can see that you can see the limits there and those limits were reached so if you see it here eight meters or 10 meters a second you can see that the upper the upper limit was reached here and approaching obviously on the eight meters a second then it captures if it goes over the 10 meters a second it'll capture the highest the, the peak um, after that and then obviously it'll move down so obviously you can see your peak speeds there um, this <clears throat> these units do continuously log so a log can be set by the user to you know anything from from one minute to you know half an hour um, so you know obviously on one minute you would log a lot of data and um, this you know for, for for the purpose of this report it was uh, it was set to uh, five minutes. So um, we'll, we'll get to some of those continuous logs. There's one there. So that was um, that was 3.3 meters a second. Um, obviously, this is all data from the 2nd of September. Moving down, obviously, you've got your peaks. Um, and then it logs all of this data, because, you know, continuously. And this is very nice for historic viewing so you can always uh, go back to this day to print a report and it could be you know on a certain day or you know seven days or whatever whatever the case may be and um, very nice to to go back to this kind of data and just to you know check if there was a if there was an event or there was a an issue so moving to from the 2nd of september to the 3rd of september obviously you've got some continuous logs there obviously no wind there at that um, at that stage um, and we just go down and obviously continuous logs and you can see there on the continuous logs so that was 8 or 9 a.m and then 8 14 so that's you can see the cont it continuously logs every five minutes so it, it, it will it will um, obviously report that that speed Okay, um, that's that's about it. I mean, there was there was the end of the, the the data on the 3rd of September, so you know two days continuously logging at five minutes, quite a bit of data. Um, obviously, you can set the you can set the reporting, like I said, to a day, um, and then just have a have a have a look into the data for for that specific day. Um, so, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. See you soon.